Hey guys and gals, Danny Boy here, and today I want to discuss the Apple Pencil here. Now this is the first generation Apple Pencil, and I've been using it with my iPad Air 2019 third generation. And this device supports the first gen Apple Pencil, which is real nice. So I've been using this for, oh, about four or five days now, and um, just wanted to give a general discussion on what my impressions are. Um, now normally this pencil retails for about $100 uh, from Apple, I believe, and then on Amazon they sell it for like 95 Now I actually got mine from Amazon Warehouse. Um, it was a very good condition, I guess, return or whatever, open box for 78 bucks. And it was meant, the, you know, when I opened it up. Now, sadly, the first day I got it, I put it in, a, in my bag for my iPad, and I was going to church, and when I got out of my car at church, I actually dropped it out of the bag, and as you can see here, let me see if I can get that to focus. I got a little bit of a dang on the top case there, right there. So that was uh, that was pretty nerve-wracking, pretty upsetting, have, you know, happening on the very first day of getting it, but. Thankfully, that was the only part that got nicked, and I could replace the tip. Um, I think they're like $7 on Amazon. But actually, I've got a case for this pencil that I'm going to put on here um, soon to uh, kind of protect it. But uh, anyway... Um, this is what the pencil looks like. It's it's basically plastic with this metal ring here. And it says Apple Pencil there, as you can kind of see. I'm trying to get the camera to focus. But, uh, yeah. So, yeah. And then to charge it, you just pop the top off here, and that's a lightning connector. Okay, and then you just plug it into the bottom of the iPad like this and it charges up pretty quick I would say I don't know. I haven't really timed it. I would say in under an hour It's at full charge might even be Significantly less than that, but it charges pretty fast and I actually like this setup here because this means if you're ever on the go you know, you get somewhere and you're like, oh man, my Apple Pencil's dead. Well, you can just spend 10 minutes charging it from the iPad and then you're good to go. If this was like USB Type-C or micro USB or something else, you wouldn't be able to charge it wherever you were at, most likely, unless you <clears throat> had a battery pack on you or there was a wall charger nearby. And so then you'd kind of be out of business for that evening or whatever. But with this capability of charging it right here, it pretty much means you're never going to be left with a dead pencil. And I think that's really good on Apple's part. Now, the Apple Pencil 2, I think, charges uh, from the iPad by, like, setting it on the side or something. And that's fine, too. But, uh... It's definitely good, in my opinion, that they set it up like that. Okay, so what do I use the Apple Pencil for in reality? You know, realistically, what is it used for? Well, primarily, it's used for, I would say, two different things for me. And that's just navigating the device, number one. It's really good at that. Um, it's really snappy, it's really responsive, um, yeah, I can open the app store here, and just, you know, click around. Now, it doesn't feel 
right and hitting the home button with it, it feels like it would be too hard of a press. So I don't use this to hit the home button. So that might be kind of unfortunate to some of you. Um, you might want, you know, it just doesn't feel like it would be right to hit it when you're, you're trying to, it just feels like it'd be too strong or too forceful. So I don't use it for the home button. Um, so, you know, you can use it to read, like if you read the Bible, you can highlight something and, you know, whatever. It, it's just real responsive, but it, you know, basically you do have the classic style issues for it. But secondly, let me pull up my writing app that I've been using and, of course, you can use Apple's proprietary notes app. Um, as a matter of fact, let me show you that first. Okay, so I got a new note set up here. And um, so basically, this is your options. If I tap the pencil here, I've got this here, which is like your pen. Okay, you got a highlighter. Um, it's like two different versions of a pen, maybe. That says 50, that says 80, and then you've got an eraser here. And then this is like a colored pencil. And then you do have a ruler for straight line drawing. And, and keep in mind, this is iPad OS. This is the newest uh, operating system. And then you've got all your different colors here. And then you can have it auto minimize or just stay up all the time. So if I select the pen here, I can write, you know, and it feels really good. It feels almost as good as writing on real paper. Okay. Um, there's really, especially with this native notes app, there's no lag at all. Um, you can adjust um, your width, obviously, and then the color. and um, It's just good. And then you can undo right here. That's how the undo goes. It goes a little bit at a time. Okay, it doesn't do a whole word at a time. And I like the little bit at a time better. Because when it does a whole word, that's no good because you might have just messed up on a letter. So, like that. It's good. It feels really good. So, let me go back out here now. The app I've been using, I watched a YouTube video and on different apps for taking notes. And from what I could see, this good notes, uh, this is... Good Notes 5 looked like the best one. I think Notability is also supposed to be really good. But I tried Good Notes 5. I think it was, I don't know, 8 or 10 bucks in the app store. So let me open that up and then I'll, I'll show you that. So here we have Good Notes 5 opened up. I'm not going to take you back to the main screen because I have a lot of different files on there, but basically it's the same thing. You have your palm rejection. And this one, see already, there we go. This one is got a lot more options okay so you've got your pen here and those are your options there you've got an eraser those are your three eraser sizes you've got highlighter um, shapes moving text so I can like circle that and move it down here that's hot and then I think insert a picture, take a picture. And then that I think is just regular text. I've never used that. And then I'm not sure what that is. But 
here is another great, great feature of Good Notes 5, and that is this box. So, this box appears, and you can start writing, you know. And see how I was able to continue to write as it moved the box over here. Um, that's really hot to be able to do that. Okay. So, I like using it this way. You can get really good looking precise files. And with this good notes. Five, you actually can create a digital notebook with multiple pages. So then I can add... A, well, I think this one isn't set up as a notebook, but normally I could swipe over like this and add another page. So that's really hot. So yeah, I mean, I like the Good Notes 5, but those are the two primary things I really use the Apple Pencil for. Is it a must-have device for the iPad? I would say only if you're going to be taking notes. If you're never going to be writing stuff with it, I would say I would probably go with one of the lesser costing options um, or just not get it at all. Um, because, you know, $100 is a lot uh, for just being able to navigate and write. Um, but I do write, so it is worth it for me. Now, if you draw, and I've not tried drawing, I, I understand that drawing is awesome with it. Uh, I've not downloaded a drawing app and not tried it, but my understanding is it's supposed to be really good for that. I don't really draw that much, um, so I don't know that that will really be a big feature of it for me. So guys, those are my thoughts on the Apple Pencil here. It feels really solid. The battery lasts a long time, I would say. I probably only, I've charged it maybe. I've been using it, what, four or five days and probably charged it fully once. So it, it lasts a long time. Um, not sure the exact battery stats on it, but I, it's definitely not a bad battery by any stretch. So, guys, these are my thoughts on this Apple Pencil. As always, if you're enjoying my videos, be sure to subscribe to the channel. And, of course, hit that thumbs up button as that helps out, too. Um, but for now, peace out, guys.